Leaders from around the world are hoping to seal a landmark deal to cut the use of plastics. Talks for a first ever global treaty are now being held in Canada. And as our science and tech correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports, new research has highlighted the urgency in addressing the environmental issues. Behind the theatrical protests and unusual costumes, a serious message. Killing us. It's killing the world. Plastic poison is killing the world. Campaigners are hoping to sway the hundreds of delegates gathering in the Canadian capital, aiming to make environmental history. Well, the most important provision that we need is a cut in plastic production. That's, that's the, the basis for a strong and ambitious plastics treaty. Plastic production, use and disposal are to be covered in a yet-to-be-written treaty, which, if signed, would be the most significant environmental deal since the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. Eliminating or restricting problematic and avoidable plastic products and chemicals of concern. Among the ideas, an international phase-out of single-use plastics. New data out of the United States shows the broad impact plastics have on our environment. Around 5% of global greenhouse emissions comes from producing plastics. That could grow to 20% by 2050 if trends continue, as the amount of plastics we produce is set to triple over the next 40 years. And some of the world's biggest companies appear to share the bulk of the blame for plastic pollution. In newly published research spanning five years in 84 countries, the CSIRO and partners found 56 companies were responsible for more than half of the labelled plastic waste, waste which pollutes waterways and other public areas. Plastics from the Coca-Cola Company, PepsiCo and Nestle were detected the most. What would change the game is reducing the total amount of plastic that's being produced and ultimately changing our relationship with plastic. A change a global treaty could trigger. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.